Hey, Dunks. For Christmas, I got you a new soccer ball. Did you give me anything? Dunks, who did you kill for these? What's up, Slimes? It's your boy, Trey from the Mailroom, back at it again with a very special video. Dunks jumping down, excited. He knows. He knows. Uh, Hidden Fates. Uh, I've never opened Hidden Fates before, and I have all three. Uh, premium? It just says Collection on there. I presume they're called Premium Collections, as they usually are now. Hidden Fates, it was uh, it was in the gap of me not playing or collecting the Pokemon cards for a while. And they're, ex they're very expensive. I will probably never get Hidden Fates again uh, unless I just suddenly become super wealthy. I lucked into these, which I'll talk about as we get into them. Uh, so, fingers crossed, we're going we're gonna to dive into it as I scoot my chair slowly closer. Uh, we're going to start with the Raichu GX Hidden Fates box because I care the least about Raichu. So here's the thing about these. I didn't pay $60 to $80 a box for these. Really, it's very, very not wise of me to be opening these. I really should just be flipping these somewhere, but that's that's not what I do. I have an urge. I have a problem, and I must open them. Uh, basically, to make a long story short, for reasons I don't really understand myself, my mother has to go see a doctor once every three or four months and to see this doctor she has to make a two-hour drive one way and so you know i like to i keep her company she doesn't like driving by herself i don't mind helping her out by just i mean sitting in the back seat with my laptop let's look at the raichu card but first i have to fix the focus because i keep forgetting to do that Either way, in the sleeve it goes. It definitely looks a little janky. We'll have to look how that is compared to the others. Who knows? Uh, either way, we've got four packs here. Four, four juicy packs. There's a code card hidden. I'm going to toss over here as we get the real reward. The real card you want to see out of every box. The Jumbo Lad. The big boy right here. Wowee. That's a, that's a chunk. Put that chunk right there in the background. Alright, we're going to use... Hidden Fates It's very important. we got to use mental energy to dis decide which ones are the fattest packs ever. Fatty pack, fatty pack. Th these two are stinky. Alright. I, I presume these are three to the front. Also, I'm going to slowly open this one off the side because I don't know if these have code cards hidden fates might also just be guaranteed to be rare i'm not sure i know a lot of the sets are just a lot of like anniversary sets special sets they're guaranteed to just be rare uh there is a code card i'm not looking at it just in case a part of me wants to assume that hidden fates is just always going to be rare i'm also going to do three to the front because i don't know if there's anything special about these so we're just going to go through these and we're going to hope for the best while i talk about where I got them from. What's the better way for me to hold these? Probably like this, even though it feels awkward. A uh, horrible glare on that side. Anyway, uh, yeah, I make the two-hour trip with her. I don't want to sit in the car for like an hour and a half since the waiting room is closed. And so I'm like, yeah, just drop me off at like Walmart or something. Maybe I'll walk around to Target or GameStop, you know, look at the little, uh, that whole shopping center and everything. And we have uh, a little, oh, Mr. Mime and Energy. So it's actually for the front. And you are not guaranteed a good thing here in Hit Fates. Every, I like looked up at my like capture. And I thought that was my computer mouse where his eye was. Anyway, reverse hollow wheezing or whatever. So when I go to Walmart, and I'm just, I just like, oh, let's just see what cards they have there. Haha, <laughs> funny, you know, why not? Let's just, let's see what's, what's banging over there. Yeah, they have just two of every Hidden Fates premium collection box. So my buddy Zach, I message him, and he starts freaking out. I'm freaking out. Twitter, the people that see me post it on Twitter are freaking out. What's like, what's worse? The glare or like me just doing it like this? This is probably better than having the glare. So anyway, long story short, I find these, it's crazy luck. Zach sends me some money to get him 
and his friend, one of each of them. Oh! 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 Okay! Okay, very special shiny Shuppet, and baby, I wanted this. This isn't, this isn't like a stupid rare shiny card. I really wanted this card. Is this the full art? I don't think this is the full art. That might, it is not textured, so I'm going to assume it is not the full art. That's a lot, it's a lot of good right here. So here we have what I'm pretty sure is the regular Moltres Zapdos Articuno GX tag team card. Very happy to get this. Something I really, really wanted. I love this card. And then, of course, the, the big baby here. The shiny Shuppet. Look at that beauty. Are you... What's, are you just like a... Do you have any special number on you? Shiny Volt 16 out of 94. So it's its own, like, category in Hidden Fates. That's really nice. That's super nice. Very happy to have that. To finish up the story, I find these, it's, it's dummy lucky. I get the boxes for Zach. He's already opened all of his, uh, him and his friend. Uh, spoilers, they were stinky packs, stinky boxes. And so I say to myself, this is it. What are the odds that all six boxes are stinky? And it looks like the answer is uh, not at all. It looks like we're going to pop off. I've already done better than what they did. I feel very bad for them that their their pulls were that stinky, but man, we're popping off. Uh, and a special thanks to Zach, because uh, like one and a half of these boxes were paid for by him as my Christmas gift. So shout out to him. I definitely wouldn't have all three of these if it weren't for him. That's a regular reverse hollow Mew, which is still very nice. And there's the same Mew right there. Don't you love when that happens? That's that's a beauty right there. That's that's a, That's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. And here we go. The last one. Raichu. Honestly, Raichu, I don't give I don't give you enough respect, you know? You're a fine Pokemon. I'm I'm kinda poo-poo on Pikachu. I'm a little tired of it personally. I love fat Pikachu though. Uh, so Raichu, I think, gets some of that leftover, uh, contempt for me. But you know what, Raichu? You really, you didn't do me dirty here. You did me real well, giving me, uh, the non-shiny GX I wanted the most, as well as a shiny. So already we've walked out of here with something. We're not leaving empty-handed. Now, I would love to leave none of the boxes empty-handed, but at least we're, we're getting something from this video for sure. I'm not getting a complete just... So, oh! 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 Oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, is anything behind you? Oh, Hollow Eevee. That's very nice and lovely. Jesus! Okay. So, uh, while I've said multiple times that I'm not super up to date with the pricing of various Pokemon cards, what's super good and what's not other than the obvious... I did take a glance at the, uh, the list for this before I started. Uh, this is the fourth most expensive card you can get in Hidden Fates. Uh, it's clocking in at around uh, approximately $70. Uh, yeah, um, thank you, Raichu. Uh, it's bought, these have all paid for themselves, even if I had paid for all of the boxes myself. Uh, and you know what? I figure, hey, you know, while I've got the price guide anyway, I might as well recap you on all of them, to be honest. This baby's one of the lesser shinies at about, uh, you know, 265 or so, but you know what? I love him nonetheless. And I was correct that this is the regular Tag Team GX. Uh, about $6.24, very good. Weirdly more expensive than the full art. Maybe the full art was given away for the Elite Trainer box. In fact, I think it was. I don't know if that was the same card or not, but... Very interesting, nonetheless. And then, as stated, kind of overshadowed by the Espeon, it's a nice little hollow Eevee. You know, nothing that's not a GX uh, or a Shiny is really worth much in Hidden Fates. But you know what? That's a lovely holographic, nonetheless. <laughs> Dunks is very loudly crunching his munchies in the back. You know what, Dunks? Let's take a look. You eat those good eats, brother. You deserve them. I went ahead and let Dunks finish his meal before I continued here. Uh, we're gonna do Gyarados next. I, honestly, I was like, oh, you know, let's save Charizard for last. Because it's Charizard. You know, it's gotta be the best 
dude, nothing's beating Raichu. The f the fourth most expensive card in the set. Raichu wins, a hands down. I mean, I'd love to see one of these other boxes beat it, but at this point, we're just gonna do the order I plan to duel them in just because. I ought to just do Charizard next. I ought to save Gyarados for last, because between you and me, I think the B Gyarados box looks cooler. I think Gyarados is a cooler Pokemon. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen Beta Gyarados, but I mean, I kind of like Beta Gyarados more than regular Gyarados, you know? Maybe I'll flash a little picture of it on the screen right here while I do this, if I remember. Or maybe I'll just completely forget, because despite pulling uh, $70 cards, I'm wholly unprofessional. So let's get this bad boy out. Uh, it looks like this is, this is more of a Mew and Mewtwo style box in terms of packs. Give me the sleeve. We're not even cutting away. We're not. I'm out of sleeves. No, I might have to cut away. I might have to go get more sleeves. In fact, I'm going to do that right now after I show you Gyarados. Wow, look at that. Gyarados is super cool. Put him in the sleeve. That's my last Cosmic Eclipse sleeve. I'm going to go get Shining Legend sleeves now because that seems fitting. So, it appears as though I have horrible organizational skills, unsurprisingly. And I can't find my Shining Legends uh, card sleeves. So, we're going to work with Blastoise Evolutions for now because I have them on standby. And let's just go ahead and slide this bad boy out. Go ahead and look at the Chonky Gyarados card. Go ahead and put that there. Hopefully it doesn't fall down like the Hatterene did. It's, just, it's not good. It's not up against the wall. It's just kind of hanging there. But you know what? We're going to be having some cards up front and center here in a moment. And that's really what matters at the end of the day, isn't it? Put that off to the side. So now we gotta decide. We got a Charizard, we got two shiny Mewtwo's. I guess the Charizard's also shiny. And we got a regular Mew. Basic Mew. Who put basic Mew on the booster packs, Dunks? Do you, did you do that? Nah, he wasn't alive. When did Hidden Fates come out? He probably was, actually. I mean, well, I'm not gonna lie to you. They both feel kinda stacked. I think this one, I think this feels the worst. Dude, maybe they're all fat. Maybe they're all fat. And this is just going to be infinite wins. That'd be pretty sweet. That would be pretty awesome, you know? I mean, I have no right to complain, and I'm not going to complain. I would like the next two box to not be stinky boxes. Uh, but considering all three boxes I gave to my friends uh, were stinky boxes, and then I pulled a uh, <laughs> shiny Espeon GX, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my tongue for a little while here. Uh, watch myself. Don't don't get too greedy. Don't get too cocky. Enjoy the things you have. You know. Don't don't get egotistical. Stay stay in your lane. At peace. Relaxed. One with nature, reverse hollow Paris, and a Starmie GX. What a very random thing to pull, but that's a that's neat. That's neat. This bad boy's sitting at about a dollar fifty-seven, and he's sitting on some very special rainbow holographics right there. Very lovely. Okay, now for the stinky little Mew pack, little little baby Mew. He's got nothing going on. He ain't a shiny. He said, hey, maybe I'll pull you, like, a little GX or something. I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think Mew has it in him. I think Mew's going to sit here, and he's going to be uh, one of the most iconic, mythical Pokemon of all time and continue to be in several movies uh, and, quite frankly, just live a better life than me. But he's going to do it without giving me something good in this pack. Uh, like this reverse hollow Clefairy, and it's a stinky Butterfree. That's right, I said it. Stinky. <laughs> I was hoping I could reverse psychology this inanimate object booster pack. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing stuff. I'm seeing good already by accident. 
Charizard's stacked. Charizard stacked. This is a stacked Charizard alert. I saw some stuff on the side. You don't know. I, this is a. This is a. This get, get. Just get going. Just get going. This is a stacked Charizard alert. What do we? What's what's our reverse? Oh! 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 That's what was stacked. That's what was stacked. What's what's on the bag? Oh, baby! Oh, just set him down. Just set him down gently for a second. Actually, no. Just show the Onyx for a minute. Hello, Onyx. Wow, you pretty neat, pretty cool guy. Now, Onyx, he doesn't let the ego get to him. He sits at a modest one dollar thirty-nine cents. But look, he's he's getting ready to take a bite. Okay, now let's be very careful. Don't drop the sleeve, you fool, you idiot, you bumbling buffoon. Let's get a nice look at the texture on that. Full art, like and rock GX. Um, I don't remember which one this is. I know it's not the werewolf, so I'm going to say it's probably midday form, is what the name was. Uh, this is about a 1362, something along those lines. Beautiful, just a majestic full art card right there. Absolutely lovely, absolutely out of control that I got this. I'm I'm popping off. Here we go. One more Mewtwo. This let's let's get it. Ch Gyarados, you did what? Great. Every, every box so far. I can't. I feel bad. I feel bad. I think literally the best thing my friends got from the boxes I gave them was shiny Dartrix. I owe them an apology because it's like I, I picked up the boxes obviously. So uh, Zach's just like, yeah, bring three of them to me. Like you just bring one of each and drop them off. So I sit here and I look at the boxes. I'm shooting my brain waves into them. I'm like, I gotta make sure I get the best boxes. I've never been more correct. I've never felt like such a psychic before. And it's because of this, I say, I'm sorry, Zach. I'm sorry, other friends, that I gave you the absolute stink bomb boxes. Oh! Oh, shiny Gabite. And then Kangaskhan. I, I've seen some, I actually have some of these, but from generations. Shiny Gabite doesn't look that much different uh, from regular Gabite. But, hey, that's all right. That's okay. Pretty sweet. I've gone ahead and grabbed the sleeve. We're going to go ahead and put this bad boy in. And then I'll hit you with uh, whatever the price for this handsome lad is right here. Looking real good, real spiffy for the prom. Gabite's sitting at about 321. What a handsome lad he is. And now it's time for the big boy. It's time for this box to probably just be the absolute worst. Time for this to probably be the one stinky box that I got. Because Charizard, he loves to be built up to extremes. And then just disappoint you. He loves to just let you down. Uh, and now obviously these promo cards are probably all worth something. That doesn't mean I know what they're worth uh, by any means. Uh, and they're not listed on TCG Player because they're pro well. I mean they're listed on TCG Player uh, separately as promos. So you know I'm not really pulling them up. I'm not like individually typing these in. I just have the price guides for the set pulled up. So you know I don't really off the dome know how much this this bad boy right here is but maybe probably less than 10 bucks from my understanding because it's a promo and even though like the collections aren't cheap you're still guaranteed to get it with the collection this man's a little a little warped tiny bit but that's okay because he's just going in the collection lab nonetheless and then of course let's get the big in let's get that big boy right here and finally, the tri- that's a really good- that's a good focus. Finally, we have the trifecta complete right here. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. They're all slanted. It's not even whatsoever. I think Charizard might fall over at literally any second. Just like my mental health. Alrighty. Here we go. This is another good variety of packs. This time we got Stinky Mew again. We've got- Shiny Charizard, we got two of the birds. Every all of my trash in the corner just collapsed. Uh Stinky again. Pretty fat. Probably stinky. Fat. Fattest. We're gonna run the birds back to back. Shiny Charizard, he's done good. I should have paid attention to what pack the Espeon came out of. Does it actually mean anything? No, but I like to think it's fun to pretend it does. Alright, Mew. I'll give you a shot here. You know what? I didn't give you a shot last time. I said, Mew, 
You're not shiny. You're stinky. Uh, and you know, the birds, they aren't shiny either, but at least there's three of them. I'm going to give you another chance here, Mew. And you're probably going to let me down again, but I will at least give you the good faith to give you an honest attempt. Will your power... We, we gotta have... Don't let the Charizard box... I joked about that. Don't let the Charizard box be a stinker. You gotta, you gotta pull through for me. You gotta have Reverse Hollow Erica's Hospitality. And that's just the, like the Hollow Eevee again. And you know, I said it was a fine Hollow. And it is a fine Hollow. I don't really need two of it. You know what I'm saying? Give me two of like a shiny GX or something. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I've, I've kind of ruffled these cards up by accident. I'm not seeing any sparkle. I'm gonna presume... There's nothing like mind blowing in here. That doesn't mean we're not gonna get like a shiny. I think it just means we're not gonna get anything mind blowing. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. You know we gotta work our way through this Charizard pack here. That's a nice, that's a nice slow poke art. We just gotta whittle our way in. Get what's there. That's what I'm talking about. Shiny Zorua. Shiny Zorua, baby. Shiny Zorua, baby. Now I believe. This is the most expensive non-GX shiny I've obtained at about $4.30 something. I've already forgotten. A little over $4 for this shiny Zorua lad. Very pretty. And you know what? That's I'm content. Charizard, you're welcome to be the last to be the worst box. I'd rather you not be, but hey, you know, people they're already gonna forgive you because you're Charizard. At least you didn't make me walk in here empty-handed. At least you you knew you could walk in here. And just be a stinker, and you said, nah, I'll give him something. I'll like, I'm not gonna just completely poop on his parade. And you know what? There's some there's some respect there. So if nothing else, I can walk out of here respecting you, Charizard. Maybe not as much as I could with your stinky reverse hollow mew and your regular electrode. Uh but this is this is it. The final hidden fates pack. This might be the final hidden fates pack. I ever open in my life. Ever. I don't expect to stumble across this again. It's not impossible. I mean, I think they're literally restocking in Fates next month. Uh, but that's all I'm saying is, and I've already seen most of the borders of these cards. I hate when that happens. But I've, I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. Here we go. We're going to take it slow and steady. The final pack. The Charizard pack of the Charizard box. What do you have in you? Were all the Charizards stinky? Or is there just a little bit of fighting power left in there? That's almost a shiny magnetron. Just a little bit of kick left in you. A little bit of fighting. Shiny magneton! And then it's just a, it's a dabbing Snorlax. It's a dabbing Snorlax! And then, you know, maybe less, slightly less important is a shiny magneton here. He's no dabbing Snorlax, but he is worth 350. Uh, and with that, I mean, let's just let's just go ahead get my get my horrible hairy arm out of here as we grab all of the cards we pulled. All of the, the Raichu doesn't want to come. The Raichu says, "I'm ahead now." This is this is a this is a fat pack of all just good pulls. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Statistically, we got one shiny or one GX every pack, and that's incredible. That's just absolutely insane. But just, okay, well, I mean, three of them were promos. I will count the promos because they're cards I don't have. But, you know, it's it's worth keeping that in mind. Dude, this went so much better than I thought it would. This went significantly better than I thought. That's so super good. I'm very happy to have that. And then this baby right here. This baby right here. Listen. My last two videos, I pulled a secret rare. This video, I pulled this. I can't keep getting away with it. I got a. I know I got the uh, Snorlax Lapras V Max GameStop exclusive box. I got that for Christmas. So that's probably gonna be the next video. Uh, I don't know if there will be a video on Christmas week. I think it's unlikely, but not impossible. Actually, you know what? I'm not getting that box until Christmas. So actually, I will say yes. There won't be a video next week, but. I mean, stay tuned. Let's see if we can keep the street going, baby. Woo! I didn't. I didn't even have Dunks bless any of these boxes. But you know what? I am gonna have Dunks do. Take it to the outro. Hey there, brother. You know, all the time you ask these people, "Hey, 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps out a lot. And that's true. But let's go ahead and also wish all these nice people a happy holidays. A happy new year. I may not see you till 2021. This is probably, this actually is very possibly the last video of 2020, depending on when I get Lapras and Snorlax uploaded. So, hey, if it is, what a way to end 2020, a really stinky year. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night.